hello everyone welcome back to another episode in my third person shooter series so today this is what i am going to do when i shoot and kill these characters they will go to ragdoll mode and the weapon will be detached and weapon will also go into a physics simulation so where they will drop on the ground and the character can well if the character collide with them it will be kicked off so right so yeah that's what happens now the weapon is detached from the character and yeah character can spread a step on these weapons and do things like that okay so this is what I am going to do today and this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me that means a lot to me right so at the moment this is what happens I can shoot the guys and when I sh when they are dead the weapon uh, stick attached to them so like this so that's not good so yeah I want to may detach the weapon and for, uh, from the character and simulate physics so the weapon will behave like a different physics body so all right let me open Sage Soldier and yeah when the character is dead this is what happens this is death part so here I need to detach gun from the player from the character so how should I do that yeah maybe let's open the gun blueprint and there let's define a method to detach weapon or oh, let's just call it drop right and let's implement that function here this is fire let me collapse it first because we need space right now let's implement um, drop event self um, detach can we get parent Is this a method I should use? Detach from actor. Detach the root component of this actor from any scene component is currently attached to. 
right i think that's the one i should call so the location rule let's keep world everything let's keep world and then yeah let's see what happens first get the gun and call drop I think I need to call this upon the shard actor yeah otherwise it wouldn't work so if it works then the gun should stay in the air while the character fall down Yeah, as I said, it's staying in the air. So now we need to simulate gun physics for the gun. So first, let's check how does the physics body of the gun. Okay, it's like this. Maybe instead of a capsule, we should. add a box because if it is a capsule maybe it will continue to rotate Yeah, that would be enough I guess okay now what are the collision settings for this one no collision all right um, then I'll set collision enabled with Quarry and physics. Well, I wouldn't need quarries, but anyway, I'll enable it. Collision reset is no collision. Mm -mm -mm. This is the one I should have. I need to set the collision profile Well, I actually I was looking for a way to without typing set it directly but since I don't have it I'll set it to block all yeah spellings are correct and then let's set collision enabled and set simulate physics to true okay now let's see what happens okay as you just saw now the gun is detached from the character where's the gun I think it was kicked by the player 
let's check again right okay as you can see now gun is detached and simulating physics all right so yeah this is what i wanted to do for today's episode if you would like to support my work you can get the membership of my patron club link would be in the description below and depending on the tier you join you will have different privileges like access to source code and code snippets and other exclusive videos so yeah also i have done a source code release for the open world series today and yeah if you are in my patron club you can download that too and thanks for watching see you in the next episode goodbye